<sighs> Everyone finished school and went to their club activities. I can't believe I'm on cleaning duty alone. I want to finish early too. I'm a simple, unassuming high school student called Masato Sato, and I find it difficult to say no to people when they ask me to do something for them. Hey, Masato, haven't you finished cleaning yet? That's Kaoru Urai. She's a popular girl and is a bit of an icon in our class. Ah, Kaoru-san. I'm sorry. I wanted to make sure everything was clean properly, so it's taken me a while. Why are you apologizing? We're having a party at Micah's house tomorrow. You should come too. What? Me? The more people that come, the more fun the party is, right? Hey, Kaoru. Why are you inviting this guy to my house? She's Mika Kanamochi, the daughter of the CEO of a company. She's a selfish, entitled, and cheerful Gyaru. It's settled. You're both coming then. Huh? <laughs> I'll see you both tomorrow. Hey, Kaoru, wait for me. She can't make decisions for me. I don't even get along with Mika-san, and I've never been to a party before. I'm thrilled that you're going to a party. It looks good on you. Isn't a tuxedo a bit much? There's no dress code for this party. You should wear a tuxedo for a party, right? You're attending a party at a rich family's house and you're representing the Sato family. It's only natural that you wear formal attire. Stop exaggerating. I had no say in the matter. So I went to Mika-san's party. Hey, it's your turn. Why aren't you focusing? Oh, sorry! I'm amazed at how extravagant this party is! Micah's family is very rich. <sighs> my family is rich, not me. Now it's my turn. The card game reached its climax. Oh, Micah lost! You and Masato Kun need to play a punishment game together because he lost earlier! No way! I don't want to play a punishment game with this guy. With. This guy? We played a game, so we have to follow the rules. Now, both of you follow me. What the heck is going on? The two of you will spend the night together in the basement as part of the punishment game. Don't worry, you'll be safe and sound. Good luck! Also, I've left you a change of clothes and our homework for tomorrow, so make sure you do it. Why are you so well prepared for this? It's just the two of us now. When I heard her say, basement, I imagined the place to look like a prison. I'm glad to see it's quite a modern studio apartment with a bathroom and kitchen. Huh? Sorry. I know you don't want to be alone with me. Uh... Stop apologizing for everything. It's so annoying. I'm sorry. Uh, oh, <laughs> sorry. It's just a bad habit. Forget it. I'm hungry now. Make me something to eat. Sure, but let's change first. These formal clothes are uncomfortable. Yeah, let's do it. Mika-san's in a bad mood. She doesn't want to be alone with me. I wonder if she'll brighten up when she's eaten. Wow, this looks delicious. Let's dig in. Huh? It tastes so nice. I'm surprised you're so talented. I'm glad it makes you happy. Don't you cook? I've never cooked before. You're a young lady. I bet your servants cook for you. I just don't have the motivation. It has nothing to do with my family having servants. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to upset you. I'm sorry for getting so angry at you all of a sudden. Can you please just stop apologizing for everything? When you're done eating, please get my bath ready for me. I'm kind of tired. Sure. Ugh, that felt so good. I don't know how to clean a bath or even run hot water. Thank goodness you knew what you were doing. My family has a policy of making me help out a lot around the house. That's made you a very useful person. Hey, why don't we finish our homework? Uh, we can do it later. No, I'll get sleepy. Let's get it over with. Our teacher will get mad at us if we don't do it. Okay. Mm, I don't get it at all. I'm not good at math. What's the use of studying such difficult formulas? 
It's necessary for higher education. Besides, it's better to know how to do it than to not know how to do it. Hmm, true. That's one way of looking at it. I'll try my best then. Can you explain this to me? Well, that's... Uh, I'm nervous because we're sitting so close to each other. It's not like we have a choice. The desk is so small. Yeah... I managed to finish my homework while sitting next to beautiful Mika-san, who smelled like soap. My nerves were shot! Hey, I'm bored. Isn't there anything we can do? Aren't you sleepy? Doing our homework made me a bit sleepy. There's a game on the table. Do you want to play it with me? I've never played it before. Are you good at it? I like it, so I played a lot. You're good at playing games, too? Then let's do it. I'm gonna beat you. Okay. Dang it, I lost again. You're relentless. Take it easy on me. Sorry, I got carried away. It's okay, I forgive you. You're still so quick to apologize. Oh, it's... It's just a habit. I'm used to it now, don't worry about it. I don't really know you very well, and I feel like maybe I've looked down on you in the past. I always thought you were timid and insecure, but you're a nice person who can do a lot of things. I can't do anything. My family is rich, but I didn't do anything to deserve that either. I envy you, Masato. But you're the most popular girl in our class. You're cheerful and you have lots of friends, right? That's not really who I am. It's a false image that I've worked very hard to create. The reason I act like a bad-tempered gyaru is because I want to get my parents' attention. Ever since I was little, my parents have always worked hard and were hardly ever home. It made me feel very lonely. We had servants, so I was never truly alone, but I was still lonely. I started misbehaving to try and get their attention and took my frustrations out on the people around me. I'm sorry I've been so awful to you! Don't apologize! On the contrary! I've always envied you for being someone who could honestly say what they wanted to say. I can't do that. It is a bit detrimental that you're always in a bad mood, though. I'm not good at expressing my feelings. I'm sorry. Get a grip! You're the class president! Hey, do your job! When I was in junior high school, I was forced to become the class president. I wasn't able to organize the class and get everyone to do their respective jobs. And ever since then, I've had no confidence in myself. Apologizing for everything became a bit of a habit. It's not your fault. The only reason you have a habit of apologizing for everything is because you were traumatized. You're the kindest person I know, so I'm sure you just couldn't say no to anyone who asked you for something. Thank you. Thanks for understanding my feelings. I feel better after I told the truth about myself. Me too. At first, I thought it'd be a tough punishment game because I was going to be alone with you. But it's been pretty fun. I can't believe you've been so kind to me. You're a very open-minded person, aren't you? Are you this kind to everyone? Uh, huh? I just thought it'd be nice if I was special. What does that mean? You'll have to guess. That night, we were both tired and fell asleep on the sofa. The next morning... What? What's that noise? <sighs> it feels like the earth is shaking. <gasps> <laughs> it's wonderful to be young. I envy you guys. Me too. Come on, have breakfast with us. Dad? Dad? Mom? Mom? What, what you, you doing? doing? We've seen some great stuff. Actually, we set up this punishment game. We've arranged for both of you to get married to each other. What? We were worried about Masato's lack of confidence and weren't sure if things would work out after you two got married. So, we decided to watch you for a night. That's terrible! You've massively overstepped your authority! You should be happy, Masato. I've learned a lot about your character, and you passed the test. I know my daughter will be in good hands. 
<laughs> our parents made an important decision in our lives without our input. They decided that we were going to be husband and wife. Needless to say, Mika and I were speechless. Oh my gosh, you two are so in love. <laughs> We've been through a lot, but Masato's kindness drew me in. Before I knew it, I was in love. I also fell in love with Mika before I knew of our parents' plans. So we're quite similar, aren't we? Both of you have changed. Mika's personality has become more rounded, and Masato-kun doesn't apologize so much anymore. The power of love is amazing! Don't forget that I'm your Cupid, though. I set up the whole thing at the request of your parents. What? what? It's, it's true. true? Don't be mad at me. Thank you, Karu. What? You're not mad at me? I can't believe you thanked me. I want to thank you, too. When you love someone, it's easy to be kind to them. I've forgotten all about my anger. Kaoru, you better find a boyfriend soon, too. I know, but things don't ever work out so conveniently. <laughs> I want to continue to cherish the one girl who understands my good qualities. 